Hello students, this is Dr. V. Simarazu from IRE. Today we are going to discuss binary cyclic codes. So, this binary cyclic codes, which is a topic in analog and digital communications course. So, in this uh, topic, we are going to see the algebra algebraic structure and encoding and decoding procedure of cyclic codes. Let us, let us come to the course outcome. So the cyclic code comes to the CO6, that is course outcome 6. And this topic uh, will come into the module 5. And uh, what the CO6 uh, says, build the block codes for error detection and error correction in noisy environment. Before this uh, class, we discuss about the black codes. So, whatever may be the black codes or cyclic codes, the use for the error detection and error correction. So, these two topics come again to the error control codes. So, basically, you having two types of codes. One is a black code and another is a convolution codes. But according to syllabus, we are having the block codes. Again, the block codes, cyclic codes are the subclass. Okay. So by using both the block code and cyclic code, we are going to detect the error and we are going to correct that error. Okay. So why the errors are generated? This is due to the noise. Why the transmitter send the signals into the channel and the signals travel to the channel and reaches the receiver. So the receiver receives the noisy signal. From the noisy signal, we are going to detect the original message signal. Okay. So this is the scheme, whatever uh, we see in the communication block diagrams. Okay. Now, binary cyclic codes. So, cyclic codes are subclass of linear block codes and encoding and syndrome calculation are easily performed using the feedback shift resistors. So, here we are using the feedback shift resistors. So, generally you know the resistor. Resistor is nothing but a group of flip flaps. So, here for encoding and decoding, we are using this uh, flip flaps in cyclic codes. Okay. Hence, uh, relatively long block codes can be implemented with a reasonable complexity. So, this block codes and cyclic codes are nearly equal. But what here the difference is, wherein the block codes were generated the code as a block. But here we are generated the cyclic code as a polynomial structure. That is 1 plus x plus x squared plus x cube like that. Whereas uh, in block code, it is just a blocks that is like matrices. So what is the matrix size? Like that, the block codes are generated. Already we've seen that in the previous class, the block codes generated by using the formula C equal to M into Z. Just we are going to multiply the message block with the generator block. Then you can uh, find the block code. But here, the cyclic code, we can say as the polynomials. So it is 1 plus x plus x square plus x cube like that. So in this way, we go to generate. So position of the error control coding and decoding are shown in the transmission model. So noise or error is the main problem in the signal which disturbs the reliability of the communication system. So already we know the transmission model. So what the transmission model here? You are having the transmitter and this is a channel and this one is a receiver. So in this transmitter we are going to use a modulator. Okay. From this modulation we are going to increase the signal frequency and then generate to the channel. But uh, this is general. 
But when it's in the error control coding, the channel encoding is also done. Before entering the channel, channel encoding is done. Whereas the receiver, the decoding of the channel, what is the reverse operation, what you have done in the transmitter is uh, usually performed in the receiver. Okay. So here, a linear n comma code is called a cyclic code. If all cyclic shifts of a code word are also code words. So here it is going to shift it. Why we are using the register? What are the register contains flip flaps. So the flip flaps can store one bit at a time. For every one clock, uh, take at most from one flip flap to another flip flap. So that is uh, uh, what is done in the feedback uh, shift register. Okay. So this is the algebraic structure of uh, cyclic uh, codes. Here you can see u of x is equal to u naught plus uh, u1x plus u2x square plus uh, un minus 1x to the power of n minus 1. Here the degree is n minus 1. So here already we've seen that c of x uh, uh, we can take it as a code polynomial or u of x what it may be. So 1 plus x plus x square plus up to x power n minus 1. So here degree is yeah. So this is the algebraic structure. So how the cyclic code exists. And definition here a code C is cyclic. If C is a linear code, any cyclic shift of a code word is also a code word. Okay. So here again one example code C. It contains uh, triple zero one zero one zero double one double one zero is cyclic. Okay, so here the polynomial multiplication encoding for cyclic linear course is easy, but unfortunately the course obtained are in most cases not systematic. So here the systematic and non-systematic. So the systematic and non-systematic difference is the message bits, where the message bits are located. Why? Here you can take in uh, from the previous uh, uh, topic black codes. So black code also contains the message and uh, n minus k parity bits. So here also we are going to be adding some parity. Why? Those parity bits are uh, useful for the error detection and error correction. So in the channel encoding, we are going to be adding these uh, parity bits. Okay. So here the place of the message bits are changing. So the depends on the message bits, we can say systematic and non-systematic. Okay. So systematic cyclic codes can be obtained through a procedure that is uh, only slightly more complicated than the polynomial multiplication procedure. Okay. So in the examples, we can say that systematic and non-systematic uh, difference. So here we are considering n comma k cyclic code. C with the generator polynomial g of x and the k symbol message block is given by the message polynomial m of x. So here also n comma k that means uh, simply 7 comma 4 generally we are using. So here n is the uh, length of the code and k is the uh, size of the message. Okay, so four message bits are coming. So but they are here also the polynomials. So m of x is a polynomial, g of x is the polynomial. And finally, the generated cyclic code is also polynomial. So that is the difference. Whereas block codes it is in block, whereas cyclic code is in polynomial. So that is the difference. So here you can see this picture. So this is a feedback shift register. Here you can see number of flip flaps are there, and they connected with the module to some adders or XOR gates, or it may be. So here you can see the message bits are entering into the channel. So Whenever the gate is uh, closed, the message bits are entered into these uh, uh, registers. And for every clock tick uh, here, the flip flap uh, shifts from one position to another position. That means uh, for every flip flap stores only one bit at a time. For that clock tick, it moves from one flip flap to another flip flap. So thus, we can 
see that uh, uh, what are the value contents that flip flap they can be taken as a code. Okay, so here G1, G2, and up to Gn minus K minus 1 generate which denotes that uh, uh, corrections. That is why because here the G of x is a generator polynomial that is 1 plus x plus x square like that. If the correction is present, we can take it as uh, that uh, uh, polynomial is present. For example, for this picture, here the G of x is equal to 1 plus x plus x square and so on up to this uh, n minus k minus 1. Okay, and here the message polynomial message bits are in the form of message polynomial. So it may be 1 plus x plus x cube like this, it may be coming. So here the model to sum uh, adders is nothing but uh, uh, it is equivalent to the operation of XR gate. So by using that XOR gate, we are getting that value which is stored in this polynomial. Okay. So here how the processor is going to see. So the operation of the encoder proceeds as follows. The gate is switched on, hence the K message bits are shifted into the channel. As soon as the K message bits have entered the shift register, the resulting N minus K bits in the register from the parity bits B of X. So here B of X which represents the parity bits. What are the count of the parity bits is N minus K. So both cases that is uh, in block code and cyclic code we are going to add n minus k parity bits to the k message bits. Okay. And the second point the gate is switched off thereby breaking the feedback connections. So already seen that picture the gate is there when the gate is closed then only the message bits enters into the shift registers. When the gate is open so there is no uh, message bits are entered into this register. Okay. So the contents of uh, shift registers are shifted out into the channel. So this is the uh, operation of the feedback shift register. And uh, this one is the block diagram of syndrome calculator. So in the transmitter, we are using that uh, encoding procedure. Whereas the receiver, we are using the syndrome calculator. Why? Here I am going to find where the errors are generated. Why? I am adding n minus k parity bits. In the n minus k parity bits, the errors are produced. So here I am going to detect that error and again I am going to correct that error. Okay. So initially all the shift register contents are 0 and the switch is closed in position 1. So received code is shifted bit by bit into the shift register okay so the received code so here the received code may be one zero one 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 zero like that so here this is a six when you take in the uh, seven n value it may be this one another zero is adds so the received code which enters into the syndrome calculator then it going to finds a to what position the error will be generated. So generally here for uh, n value is 7, n minus k, that means uh, k number is uh, 4 for example, so 3 parity bits and 4 message bits. So in this 7 comma 4, the initial we can treat it as uh, parity bits and the remaining 1010 10, we can treat it as message bits. So here the error will generated in these three bits only. So it may be a error. So when the error is detected, here the syndrome is value shows as one. If there is no error, it is zero. Okay. So the contents of flip flaps keeps on changing according to input bits of a received code and values of a G1, G2, etc. After all the bits are received, code are shifted, the n minus k flip flap register contains the n minus k bit syndrome. So what is n minus k? So what you added at the transmitter is also n minus k. n minus k is a parity bit. So 
here the parity bit syndrome we are going to calculate in this parity bits okay so the switch is closed to position 2 and the clocks are applied to the shift register the output is a syndrome okay so this is the way uh, how this uh, decoding is done in the cyclic codes and another one is a uh, encoding procedure so this is uh, this procedure is very useful uh, for the problems in cyclic code so what are the steps involved in this encoding procedure that's we're going to see so the steps involved in the encoding procedure for n comma k cyclic code so what are the first one multiply the message polynomial m of x by x to the power of n minus k the first one is multiply m of x by x to the power of n minus k so already they given in the problem n comma k so for example n comma k means 6 comma 3 here we take n it is a 6 comma 3 so what I having n minus k is cube 6 minus 3 gives cube so m of x is multiplied by x cube so this is the first step next one is divide x to the power of n minus k m of x by the generator polynomial obtaining the remainder b of x here i am taking the remainder b of x how just by dividing this uh, x to the power of n minus k m of x by g of x so here you can see x cube into m of x is divided by g of x so here we need some quotient and finally getting the remainder that remainder is b of x so this is in the second step where in the third step we are going to add this b of x to the x power n minus k m of x obtaining the code polynomial c of x so very easiest method for generating the cyclic code so just we are going to add this b of x so in the third step i am adding b of x plus x to the power of n minus k m of x so that's all this is nothing but c of x so this is the code polynomial so in this way we are going to generate cyclic codes okay so this is a way of uh, cyclic codes and in the coming lectures we are going to see the numerical problems to solve how okay by using this procedure okay now the references here taken as a uh, uh, Simon hacking third edition that is communication system by Simon hacking or digital communication by Simon hacking okay Thank you. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.